We are living in a very perilous times. The Bible predicted that in the last days, people will be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. The Bible also prophesied that in the last days, the love of many shall wax cold. Calamities will be frequent. Criminalities will be rampant. And civil society will be in upheaval, waiting for self-destruction because of their idolatrous ways and disobedience against the Word of God. But there is hope this morning, and I would like to share with you the hope found in the, in the prophecy of Jeremiah, in the book which is attributed to, to him, Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 22. The Bible says, and I would like to read, Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed. We all know that God is a God of love, but He is also a God of justice. And because of His long-suffering, His loving kindness, we are not allowed to be consumed for now. His justice is on time. God's ways are the best ways. And so He is merciful towards us today because His com compassions fail not. For God's people who hear these words, these are assurances that God is a God of love as well as of justice. Verse 23, they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. God is a God who is faithful. God is a God who cares. God is a God who takes good care of His people. Regardless of what they are experiencing, he takes care of them and he sends help in his own time. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. The Bible continues to say in verse 24, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I like that, therefore I hope in him. Friends, this morning, or this day, whom are we hoping for? Are we hoping for something that will come our way so that we will be satisfied aside from God? Or are we waiting or hoping for God? I'd like to encourage you today to pick up your Bibles. I'd like to encourage you today to pray. I'd like to encourage you today to pause for a moment to remember and be still and know that there is a God who is compassionate, who is faithful, who is just, who is fair. His mercies endures forever. The Bible continues to say in verse 25, the same chapter, The Lord is good to those who wait for Him, to the soul who seeks Him. Friends, when, when, when the Holy Spirit points us to Christ, our soul waits for God. Our, our whole being is connected with God. Therefore, this is very true. It is good. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him, to the soul who seeks Him. This is a very challenging time for all of us. The devil would like to tempt us to seek something else aside from God. To seek our own pleasure. To seek the idols of life, the idols of the spirit worlds. But I had a good news for you today. God could be found if we seek Him. God is near to those who call upon Him. The Bible continues to say in verse 26, It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. We who are called Adventists, we wait for the second coming of Jesus Christ. We hope in His promised coming. And we claim that hope. And we live our lives. We occupy knowing that one day soon God will reckon us according to what we have done. And our faith will show through our fruits. And the result will be good works, which does not merit salvation, but is the result of our relationship with Jesus Christ. Verse 27, 
It is good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. Verse 28. Because let, let him sit alone and keep silent. Because God has laid it on him. Be still and know that there is a God. That there is a God who is merciful and just. Dearly beloved, what are you looking for in this time? What, who are you hoping for? What are you living for in this time of the end? I believe personally that the Lord is coming very soon. And I know that I could not prepare it on my own. The Holy Spirit will speak and point me to the Lord Jesus Christ who is soon to come in our generation. This is what the Word of God says.